Hello. Um, you can't swag me again. That's so I accidentally Sorry? closed this call. I was trying to restart it. Alright, alright, I'm here. Alright, uh, so, God to the cousins here, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm here. Do you fresh me, Michael? Michael, meet you fresh. Hi. Hey. Here's, and there's Mumford. Yeah. Oh. And... What's up? Alright, it's gonna be hard to distinguish you three. Really? The white sounding kid is me. The white sounding kid is me. I can distinguish, I can distinguish you. I, I, I'll, I'll get along with it. Okay, I'm... You'll, you'll figure but, it out, don't worry. I, I sound like a, like, fucking... I sound like I have a belt up off my nose. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So, are you podcasting this? Uh, Mumford, you want to be in the podcast? Sure, why not? Okay. So, I'm already recording, so I'm not. I'm too lazy to edit this, so we're just going to wing it from here. Cool. We're we live? the part Wait, where I just Luis. laughed. Yeah, we're live. Luis, we, 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 li <laughs> we live? <laughs> yeah, we're live. Oh, I love that. So yeah, this is going good. Awkward so silence. Bomb acquired. Awkward silence. <laughs> okay, so now what to do? Go on Reddit. Oh. Find anything you can find. We'll just. Okay, all right, all right. Just give me a sec. Just give me a sec. I gotta scroll up to get to um, ask Reddit. It's at the top. I gotta click my hot link. It's loading. Okay, we're gonna go down. Okay, what is the worst mistake you've made online? Uh. Um, probably those pictures of me I sent that one girl. Who ended up being a guy? Oh no, no, <laughs> no, no, no! no. <laughs> I was joking, now. You liar! No, that's no, not that I think I never did that. Um, I don't know. You guys can go first. I'm trying to think. Uh, I think who wants to mine, first? Mine is not actually a mistake I made. It's actually um a, a mistake that I coaxed someone else into making. So. There was this old, there was like, there used to be this thing where it was cool if you posted a Facebook status saying, like, uh, did you know if you post your password to Facebook in the comment, it'll block it out and be starred. So I got a bunch of people to do it, and they, <laughs> they all put in starred comments, except for my one friend who put in her actual password, and I took the password. Dude, I Garner, the password I was one of your started... friends that did the star, star, star. I think I was, like, the first one. Yeah, yeah, then... you were the one. No, yeah, you were the ones that did it. And then she put her real password, and then I, I took that password, signed into her account by going on, like, I went on her profile real quick, and, like, saw the email that she had attached, so then I could log in. And then I used it to log in, and I posted a status saying that I was, by from her account, saying that I was in love with Mumford and wanted to marry him, and hilarity ensued. Oh, so my I, God. Was, Are you talking about who I think you're talking about, dude? <laughs> that was a pretty, I think that was a pretty, Pretty big mistake on her part. Hey, well, I lo I loved how it turned out. I so. I've fallen for that. I've fallen for one of those before. I quickly edited it <laughs> and it was on a form I don't care about. But I actually put my password and I was like, oh damn it! Why? <laughs> I was no, I don't get that. Why? Why do you have to put your password on it like just to see that it's it's starred? Yeah, and the people all, were like, I thought it was real. That why? Why, why, why do people want to do like that? Why do they even want to see if it gets starred? I don't know, it'd just be in I guess that's just interesting to see. Good job, Seals. Get ready for the next round. Hmm. Right, like I'm they'll, they'll hold you by the hand and be like, no, don't give your stuff away. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm not an ask Reddit. I, I don't know what. I don't know how you guys can tolerate Reddit. The, the layout of the site is so bad. Dude, need no, Reddit that enhancement that scheme. Answer community, dude. I hate Reddit. Sorry. No, the only Dude, the only reason I don't like Reddit is because all of the comments are just like phishing. For like, they're like, everyone is kind of like, not really an honest opinion or an honest anything. It's just, they're doing it just to get upvotes. To get ups, well, yeah. That, yeah, that's, that's the, that's the fedora wearing neckbeards. You have to get to the genuine <laughs> upvote. <laughs> every, 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 <laughs> everyone on that site is like, fedora I'm wearing, wearing neckbeard until proven <laughs> stud, yeah. and that is fact. They are neckbeard until proven stud. Okay, wait. That's all I'm Wait, I don't so wear I am a stud, for the record. I don't wear fedoras. I don't grow neck beards, so. Yo, guys, one second. I have a bitter taste in my mouth. I'm gonna get some coke or something. I'll be right back. Alright. Wait, Drug so Michael, you, 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 you were using Reddit until, like, last week or whatever when you started going, when you said you upgraded and you fucking start using 4chan now. Watch, bro. It's still shit. The, the community base is still shit. 
but it's just easier to find things without all the bullshit fishing for likes and stuff. I I think between 4chan and Reddit, Reddit is better, like... They're both so, bad. But being appropriate-wise, but... What I don't like about 4chan is 4chan, everyone's an idiot to just be an idiot, because they just are. And then on, like, on Reddit... Well, Dude, everyone's an idiot on both sides. On Reddit, so. on Reddit, people are idiots because they want to try to get popular and get upvotes, which is worse in my opinion. But like what Gfresh said, I saw, I found a few Reddit uh, subreddits that I actually liked. I really liked uh, our Halo. Uh, and I think everyone like glitched out. Hello. So my internet gave out on me. Oh, your yeah, internet gave out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, my internet gave out. You know, I like <laughs> Windows 8. That was yours. Yeah, that was mine. I guess, I guess. Yeah, I was like, I was. I thought I got, I thought it was like, I thought that was mine. I was like, oh, man. No, Damn. it was mine. Like, I don't know. I, I love Windows 8, though, because every time I hit, I click, like, find out, like, uh, solve my problem for me. It actually does fix my internet connection. I don't, like, I never had Windows ever actually fix it to Windows 8. Search and destroy. So how are you liking Windows 8, um, Gfresh? Oh, I hate it so much. Defend the objectives. What's wrong? Are you serious? Like, like, I don't see what's wrong with it. Okay, first of all, you can't even Just freaking access your program so profile, like your program files, like to install texture packs or anything for Minecraft, unless you go like through the Minecraft.jar. Like literally, have to open up Minecraft in order to like do some hot links or stuff to get there. I hate Metro. I'd much rather have the start button. I hate the store. I hate when you open up, open up like mail and stuff. Like if you were gonna use like the dedicated mail and stuff that it gives you, or camera, or music, or SkyDrive or whatever, it opens up in freaking full screen. And the only way to make it not full screen is to do that horrible, horrible split screen thing where one side <laughs> is like one eighth of the screen and the other side it's it doesn't work together because it doesn't actually show you what's on that other screen it just shows you the icon it's bad basically i don't think i'm gonna i don't, I don't know i don't i don't mind any of that so i guess that's why i like it so much and just the fact that the performance is just a lot better and it boots up a lot faster and it just feels like to me hitting the windows key and just hit and just hitting s and launching skype right away is a lot better than i don't before. Dude, the honestly, layout. Like, the it's like, I, bad. you could literally just click on Skype, and now it, I don't see yeah. why Windows S is a good, like, really? Okay. I usually, like, play devil's advocate to this shit, but I gotta agree with Garner. Like, that sounds fucking stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, no, the, layout's, the layout's bad. Like, I, I, I like the start button, and that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm not getting eight. But why do you wait? But what's the difference between the start button? And, like, what? Why do you want to have the start button so bad? I like it. Like, it's just it's always been there. Navigating Windows with the keyboard is a lot easier and a lot more efficient than using your mouse to move around. Literally, yeah. Want, okay, wait, just, like, yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty sure you could just install a widget for that on Windows Seven if you wanted to. Like, honestly, it's Windows not. Seven. Wait. Huh? Yeah, that's that. That's Windows Seven. I thought you meant like on eight. Install like the start button on Windows Eight. I was like, wait, what? Like, no, I was talking about like a search bar for your application. Yeah, applications. Oh or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. But yeah. with Windows 8, I, I can literally boot up anything I want in like two, like in a second, just by type, just quickly hitting the Windows key, typing like the first letter, and boom. Okay, I mean to each their own. Everyone has an opinion, but Garner, dude, you can just torrent Windows 7. Dude. I hate to be that guy, but you can. I would never Pir download a car. <laughs> Pir Pirate Noah. <laughs> what? Staff. You wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> You wouldn't steal a purse. What else did it say? I don't know. You you wouldn't steal a TV or you wouldn't steal a DVD or something like that. Oh, I know that. But like, I remember that. That's like really old. It's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like you wouldn't. Yeah, I remember that. It's like, but you wouldn't pirate DVDs or something like that. Yeah, and it shows like I don't get that commercial because in the commercial it literally shows the girl or the guy downloading the movie, and it says like 100% done, download complete. And then he, then he just exits, and it's like, because he learned his lesson. It's like you already have it 100 percent downloaded. You're gonna get in trouble with the law, anyways. No, uh, it's, <laughs> the it moment was, you it click, the moment you even start to download, you're done. 
You're legally messy. You're broke. Luis, there, I, that commercial thing, it was it's not a commercial, but the video it wasn't about him, like, finding his ways. It was like, this is bad. Don't do this. Like, he was, it wasn't showing him, like, changing. No, it does, because he, but, like, it shows, like, download complete, and he stops the download. No, he stops the download and just, like, gets goes outside. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah I don't get it. Years. He already broke the law by downloading it. <laughs> no one cares that he stopped and left. He, he, he messed uh, up. He might as well go all the way and keep going. You know, no, funny? seriously, though. When you have, like, an internet provider that's not, like, fucking Comcast or Time Warner Cable, does anyone give a shit if you turn it, dude? I have Comcast, so I'm fucked. Yeah. I mean, I don't pirate anyways. I don't pirate anything, so I'm good. But, dude, I can't uh, wait till Google. I can't wait till I get Google Fiber later yeah, this year. Dude, dude, I never, um, I never pirated before like this year. But this year, I have been, uh, I've been considering pirating heavily. And uh, I pirate a Wii U. <laughs> pirate a Wii U? Yeah, dude, I should. Fuck, I don't want to pay. For Fucking three fifty for that shit, so, but whatever, man. All right, I don't want to gang up on you because I'm no three fifty. Three fifty, yeah, dude. I'm sorry, but Wii U is not three fifty. Like it shouldn't be. It's I'm sorry, but Nintendo's fucking cheap, dude. Okay, I don't want to um like gang up on you right now because I, I don't know about Michael, but I know me and G Fresh both hate window. Uh, both hate Windows. We both hate the uh, the Wii U and Nintendo. Yeah. I don't hate. Okay. No, no, no. You're putting me in a box, and I don't like it. I don't hate Nintendo. Yeah, I'm freaking yeah, getting a 3DS. Post, okay, you hate the Wii U. Post, like, uh... I don't hate the Wii U either. I just think it has no games. All right, and I it's failing. I hate Nintendo. Uh -huh. is just whatever. Yeah, Garner. Okay. Do you realize isn't Nintendo distributing Sega games now? No. Yeah, dude, they always have. Or they have since like GameCube days. No, Sega still distributes their own games. Sega's not developer, they're publishers. Oh my god. <laughs> well, okay, if it makes you feel any better about, like, Sega and Nintendo or the fuck, like, um... I know Sega was the, uh, the publisher of Bayonetta, I think. And, uh, so now Nintendo is obviously the publisher of Bayonetta 2, and apparently Sega is a, like, consultor, consultant uh, on it. Yeah, that's because, be that's because Sega didn't want to publish the game, because they don't want to... Because they don't want to publish the game because they probably didn't think it'd sell well. Yeah, it and Sega has <laughs> no reason didn't. to deny them. It's like Sega's getting free money for Bayonetta 2. I mean, like, hey, yeah, you can use our IP and you can publish the game and you guys can pay for it. And we'll just get like 10% yeah. for dude, even owning it. Dude, they're doing the same thing with a uh, North America, I mean, yeah, North America Bravely Default or whatever. And uh, obviously, yeah. Aliens Colonial Marines, the greatest game of all time. <laughs> 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 Oh, dude, you, you guys dodged a bullet there, Mumford. You and all of Wii U owners, it's not coming to the Wii U anymore. You guys dude, I'm not a Wii U owner just yet, bro. I got a month. I got a month to wait. So, no, but seriously, why are you buying the Wii U? The Wii U would be like the last system I would buy. Dude, no, because, okay, I'll tell you exactly why I'm going to buy the Wii U. Um, so, first and foremost, I'm 40 points away from fucking Club Nintendo Platinum this year, and I'm going to buy a game. And that'll fucking fill me up. And then 160 will be, like, the start of the next year. Second, which is way more fucking important than that bullshit. Um, you know, I know it has no library, and I know it's failing right now. But at the same time, you go two years back, and the 3DS was in the same position. And I'm not lying to you when I say I was literally one of the biggest 3DS skeptics out there. And some simple things, like, just turn it around. I'm not saying... Wii U will be like fucking Wii levels again, but um, honestly, I feel like they could turn it around to at least be, you know, significantly profitable. Um, I think worst case scenario, it's like a, uh, um, it's another Nintendo GameCube, and honestly, as I'm probably just gonna be getting a gaming PC within the next year or two. Or, but yeah, within the next year, and Nintendo Wii U will be like my secondary console. I'm like totally fine with that. Yeah, I'm basically just getting it for Nintendo IPs down the road. Okay, I'm, getting... I'm more pessimistic than that. I don't think Nintendo's gonna turn it around. I think at this point, everyone's done with it because, like, pretty much publishers like EA, Ubisoft, everyone pretty much gave up on it already. Activision's gave up, given up on it. Call of Duty Ghost isn't coming to the Wii U. Oh yeah, because it's not next gen. I mean, 
and and that's the cost. problem, though. It's a next-gen it. system. It launched as a next-gen system, but it's not next-gen because it's not powerful enough to be next-gen. Oh, gonna... okay. okay. Hey, are you guys talking about the Wii underpowered? <laughs> no, it's no under hold on. Let me, let me retract that statement. It is... It is next gen, but if you're looking power wise, it's you know it's gonna be underpowered. But um, at the shit, I completely uh, I can't talk. So, it, so, yes. All I'm I saying is no. check your Twitter DMs. That's all I'm saying. All right. But well, um, anyways, it's basically gonna be another Wii with where the it's gonna be the same position the Wii was, where it no one. Where it, like the third parties just don't develop for it because it's not powerful enough to handle the games because it won't, it can't run Unreal Engine four, which is what most games are going to be running. And yeah, but that... dude, you you can strip <laughs> down you can strip down other things to like have certain parts of games run on certain <laughs> engines to I where it's that not. Is, <laughs> oh my God. is that sorry? Wait, I will go back to discuss it a bit. But is that King John on? King John Green. Mixed with, mixed, with, mixed with like a cop. That's Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you see it now. Oh. What? That's why I love the internet right there. I just see it now. Just, oh my god. I thought that was like a cop. Oh my god. That's awful. Dude. And then I, got, I sent you guys another one too. Wait, no, do, who, 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 no, that, no I, was, I was thinking of Murray. I was like, it's Dr. Phil the one who basically goes like, you are not the father. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Murray. Alright, that one's, I don't know what the hell that one is. Jerry Springer. Oh, what the f***? Yeah, <laughs> what is Bugs Bunny doing? <laughs> I'm not clicking any more of your links. No more. I like that link. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking brilliant, dude. Oh my. That's, that's what. The hell? Wait, wait. What is Bugs Bunny doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, wait. Uh, hold uh, on. Every single one of these images and whatnot, I'll link. I'll like share. I'll post them during the on the podcast video so you guys can. Talk <laughs> yeah. About yeah cool. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But um. <laughs> With Wii U, yeah, like it's gonna be in the same position as a uh, position as the Wii was when the Xbox three six with the Xbox three sixty and the PS three. With the Wii U when the Xbox when the Xbox Infinity and the PS four launch, it's just gonna be left behind. And right, uh, that's me, not a problem if you're a Nintendo fan, but mo like I'm not a Nintendo fan and aside from like Super Smash Bros, I don't think I'd be buying a Wii U for anything now. Uh, hold on, let me interject something though. Um <clears throat> Like, it, it's definitely not going to be, like, next-generation power, but at the same time, I think it's going to be, you know, a next-generation experience. I mean, you'd, like, take a look. Like, obviously, there's probably going to be a Wii U. Wii U is probably going to be the first console to price drop, and it's probably going to be the cheapest, like, for a while. And honestly, because it's underpowered, some developers will just have to get fucking creative. And that's what happened on Wii. And I know on Wii, there's like a it, it has its fair share of like absolute horseshit, but there are some really good like exclusive games not from Nintendo that I don't know. Um, honestly, with the Wii, I can't. Uh, like Xenoblade. No more heroes. Done. I can't think of any other like good games that aren't first. I mean, like they Blob was good, and uh, honestly, dude, I don't know because I wasn't with Wii for. A long part of the generation, but Red Steel 2 was apparently good. Um, so I'm kind of. Call of Duty Black Ops. I heard actually I'm with Red Steel with Red Steel 2, I actually heard it was it was mostly just people being disappointed with how bad it came out and how like overhyped it was. Really? No, I heard Red Steel, Steel was really good. What? Like, dude, Red Steel 1 was like really bad, and then apparently Red oh, Steel 2 was basically delivered on all the hype of the first one. Oh. Um, the Conduit was good, apparently, I don't fucking know. Oh, dude, but, that game was Conduit, I, I had Conduit, too, it was not um, very... Yeah, dude, it was bad, I don't know where you're... I know what you're talking about, it was bad. Well, I've never stuff. played it, I'm just saying, apparently... The Conduit, it's just... the Conduit HD is, um, on Android, it's an Android <laughs> app, and it's actually pretty good for an Android yeah, app. That kind of shows you how much... Like, game. That kind of shows you how little faith developers have in Nintendo now, even Wii exclusive games go in, uh, go in like, mobile. Dude, it's... okay. What fucking sales do you expect from like a 2009 Wii game in like 2013? Like, come on, <laughs> dude. That's like, the Wii, because the Wii is the same caliber as like the 
It's like the. I'm pretty sure the Wii has like worse graphic graphics than the GameCube. Dude, so. we, yeah, I mean, dude, Wii is basically <laughs> running like 2002 game like fucking graphics, and you expect like I, I don't know, dude. Well, Comfort, just... um, the Wii peaked at like in 2008 and 2009. That's when most of its sales came from. That's when it was still in its like popularity. Right. So you would expect most games to be selling good, right? They're like the Wii wasn't very profitable for the for third parties. And it's and the Wii U's not being very profitable for like Activision or anyone. There, Activision said they're disappointed with the Black Ops Two sales. Well, wait on Wii. Yeah, and we and keep in mind Black Ops Two was probably was like one of the best sellers. Hold on, you mean on Wii or Wii U? On the Wii U. Yeah, dude, because Call of Duty audience isn't the same audience that goes no, out and buys Wii U. The, Wii U and the Black Ops Two is one of the Wii U's best selling games, and Activision is not happy with the sales. Imagine like, uh, Zombie U and whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, okay. First, I will say, I will Zombie, say, U, Zombie U wasn't even an original game, it was like a reimagining of a, of a previous I, Ubisoft Zombie. game. Yeah, yeah, but dude, okay. Obviously Ubisoft is pretty satisfied with Wii U right now because they keep on porting their stuff over to it. So uh, Wait, what stuff? I mean, I the only thing I've heard them do is them delay. I mean, is them, they were going to make Rayman Legends exclusive yet. for the Wii U, and they're like, no, you know what? No, we're not gonna sell enough. Oh yeah, because it's not gonna be possible on a fucking console that has like four million sales, dude. I mean, that's just being realistic. I'm sorry, Wii U is obviously failing right now. I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying, <laughs> I'm not trying to sit there in a good position right now. I'm just saying that they can recover. Yeah, that's the, that's my point though. Like, I'm pretty sure they'll recover, but I think I don't think they'll do much better than uh, it's. It's gonna be another GameCube. Okay, then another GameCube is fine because GameCube profited. I mean, honestly, that, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's gonna be another Wii fucking blow down everyone's walls and they have a fucking Wii in their house. Like, no, that's not happening. But these are, these are my uh, predictions for the Wii U. The best best case scenario, another GameCube. Worst case scenario, another Vita. I don't know, dude. No, that's not true at all. Like, honestly, I'm because, dude, Sony. Is barely putting out any uh, on Vita. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the worst case scenario for the Wii I can see. Yeah, but dude, Nintendo, Nintendo literally okay. Nintendo literally has tons of development teams under their belt, and they have tons of IPs under their belt. They can literally go without like three or four major IPs per generation and be fine. Like honestly, I don't even know if we're gonna see a Star Fox or Metroid this generation. Well, then- Nintendo is so well known in the world. Of, like even if you don't play video games, like, Nintendo's a pretty household, like, consumer name. So, but the thing is, a lot of people think the Wii U is just a Wii peripheral. They don't know it's a different system. I think they shouldn't have called it the Wii U. I think they should have gone with an entirely different name. That would have probably sold a lot. Of Wii too. I honestly think their names are fucking stupid. Like, what the hell is the 3DS and what the hell, like, okay. I will say I probably got rid of my DS Lite like a couple years, like right when the DSi XL were coming out, or DSi, like I pretty much got rid of my DS and I didn't buy any like Nintendo shit from there. Um, and what so does like, DS mean? like I don't know, fucking dual screen, or, like dude, I don't I even think I've ever. <laughs> it's dual screen. A comment on that, like a dual screen. Right, I'm gonna Google that. What does? I think it's dual screen. That makes sense. Yes, it is dual yeah, screen. I. Mean, what does the I mean? I, I know when um, Luigi Eyes mentioned the camera. Yes, and they nickname it the Dual Shock or something like that. Wait, no, it's not the Dual Shock. It's the Dual fucking screen. Yeah, not the Dual Shock shit. Dual uh, Shock is the PlayStation. According, according to Wikipedia, the name DS stands for both Dual Screen and Developer System. The latter of which refers to the features of the handheld design to encourage innovation, innovative gameplay ideas among developers. How do the heck does the DS invent? What? <laughs> the Vita's a much better brand now. This it saddens me that the Vita's doing so bad in sales. Yeah, I re- the Vita, I, I feel like it really deserves to do a lot better because Sony is supporting the crap out of it. The Vita is and it's just not selling. They need a price drop. The Vita well, how is, is like, Sony supporting the crap out of it? I agree. I honestly own little, little Big Planet, yeah. paying oh. call, basically paying for Call of Duty to be made so they can have a get ga- like a game to sell the system with. Yeah, dude. Sony is trying. The, try, Sony is trying hard. It's just it's not. Sony is. They're bringing a lot of indie games over. Thomas was alone. Terraria, Limbo. Wait, is, Terraria, is Terraria coming to uh, the PS Vita? 
Yeah. Is it yeah, um, it, indie games don't sell consoles. That's no, they don't, but they're still, like, they're, they're trying to put games on it. That's what, they, that's what they're like trying to do. They've games. got the backlog of PS1 and PSP games, and then they, I think they have about a hundred, they have, uh, they have about a hundred something, um, retail games and then they're trying to get you know minis and indie games on it like they're really trying like soul sacrifice is coming out next week that's a sony title what is soul sacrifice if there's some <laughs> hype about that it's um it's like monster hunter is it like a vita exclusive yeah it's a vita exclusive ah uh, um okay I will say, you know, with the whole indie game thing, uh, the eShop does have, like, a lot of indie games, too. But another thing I will say is, like, with the whole, like, PS1 and PS2 classics, I will say that is one area where it shouldn't be like this, but it, it is, like, if you look at it, that Sony just fucking rapes the shit out of Nintendo in that area. They constantly, like, I, like, like, I, yeah, I don't have, like, any of, I, I never go on PlayStation, but it's, like, every time... I read an article about, you know, um, oh, what is it? Yeah, every time I read an article about, like, Sony or, like, whatever in their, like, fucking online releases, there's always, like, new PS1, PS2 classics coming out, like, online. And it's, like, Virtual Console, where Nintendo definitely has the best history out of all three major, like, gaming companies, and the, like, most expansive library, their management of it, is by far the shittiest, and it's and it's just god awful, like how they manage vir uh, virtual console. But the um, and Speedy, I'm sure you're aware of this, but the whole like drip drop approach or whatever. Like, do you know what I'm talking about with that? What? I don't drip drop. The uh, trickle, like the trickle approach on Wii Virtual Console and Wii U Virtual Console. No, I don't. So know. like, okay, for those that don't know, it's basically like, um, so with Wii U. Uh, Virtual Console wasn't ready at launch, and, hold on, yeah, for those of you that don't know what Virtual Console is, when the Wii came out in, like, 2006 or 7, no, 2007, yeah, in 2006, when it was announced, um, there was basically gonna be this service of, um, you know, Nintendo games where, like, a bunch of classic Nintendo games being emulated on the Wii or whatever, and, um... So honestly, it was kind of like it was one of the reason, reasons why I wanted to buy a Wii because I was young at the time and I hadn't experienced a lot of old Nintendo games. And um, honestly, it's been very lackluster because they haven't like uh, they've released them like very very slowly. But over the years, they eventually got like a lot of games on Wii Virtual Console to where it's like four fifty or something like that. And then with Wii U Virtual Console, the deal is you can transfer them from your Wii to your Wii U. Um, but you can't play them natively on Wii U. So what you have to do is you literally have to, um, there's an emulated, like, Wii option or whatever, like a Wii menu on your Wii U, which you have to go to, and then you can play them on there, but it doesn't support GamePad, and it doesn't support any Wii U controllers, just Wii, like, peripherals. Oh, dude, and... that stinks. Like, if you're playing, like, a PS1 Classic or a PSP game on the Vita, you can, like, you can set controls like the back touchpad can be like l2 and r2 and then you can set the thumbsticks in place of uh circle square triangle and box or i don't know and x and stuff like and in place of the up and down and left and right buttons like you can't even do that on like the the wii u like customize your controllers well, or anything uh, what's the deal um with Wii U, like, um, okay, hold on. I might as well finish what I was going to say. So, um, they're transferring, um, they're not transferring. Hold on one second, guys, sorry. Okay. Um, so the deal is with Wii U, you can basically play them on your Wii U through the Wii emulation, which is not native, and it doesn't, you know, all that shit. And so they're finally releasing Virtual Console on Wii U, where you can play it natively and on your gamepad this week. And out of the like extensive library of 450 fucking Virtual Console games on Wii, they're releasing an extensive initial library of eight games. Are you kidding me? Eight motherfucking Virtual Console games to be played natively on Wii U. 
only one, well, maybe like two of them. I don't have the list in front of me. I believe it starts out with like Super Mario World, Kirby's Adventure, and um, F-Zero on SNES. <gasps> and other than that, it's just like really shitty. Dude, like, at least Sony is like trying to like push out as many as possible, though. Yeah, and then what happens from there is, um, uh, yeah, they basically just fucking wing it, and they'll do trickle down, and it's inconsistent releases, and it's just really shitty. Like, there's no schedule to it at all. Basically, though, they're pro- unless something changes rapidly, they're probably just going to do the same thing with that they did with Wii, which is fucking pathetic. Like, that's that's one thing about Nintendo that they're doing poorly. That they would, you know, obviously it's even if you like look at it a certain way, it's kind of ridiculous to ask them to release like all 450 fucking, you know, games at launch or whatever. But you know, you've had years to prepare for this, and you could at least be like more consistent with it, I suppose. You know, um. The only difference between it is that I think Nintendo actually does like, um, uh, what is it, um, like testing on it or whatever, and they have their like own emulator or something like that. Whereas the PlayStation, they just apparently, apparently they just wing it, and they just release ROMs on you know the emulator or whatever that they have. But it's really not that much better. Um, uh, none of the games I've been, I've played through like on my PS3 that were emulated by Sony, none of them actually have issues. I don't. Last life. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I doubt it's going to be terrible. But, anyway, sorry for the uh, little rant, guys. That's but, fun. You know. So, we're um, kind of already talking, like, next-gen gaming. Well, I guess the Wii is not really next-gen. Ooh, low blow. Oh, okay, dude. I'm, Wii U is a next-gen experience. That's... I'm, yeah, it's next-gen as in the sense that it came out next... Like, it's a next-gen console because it came out for this gen. But it's not... In my opinion, it's not next-gen because of how underpowered it is. But, um... Well, next-gen doesn't really, uh... Yeah. The two aren't the same. Yeah, it's... I totally forgot next-gen. you were in this call! <laughs> 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 Who are you? Get out of here! <laughs> I was just quiet. <laughs> you guys, I, was like, I was like, I didn't want to interrupt. I was like, I was like... I was like, I don't... There's not a space to interject. <laughs> So Dude, you should just like you should just like bust in in the middle of our sentence and just scream your name and be like, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, yeah, like next gen, next gen officially means it's next. It's a next generation Nintendo system, so it's not next gen. But to me, it's not next gen because it's, it's underpowered. But my definition is wrong. Yes. It but is. um, which which system are you guys going with next gen? PS4, Xbox, oh, PC. I, I don't I don't think you should limit that to which systems. I say. Like, what PC. systems do you want? So, yeah, just go on, guys. PC. PC? PC's all systems. Yeah. PC's all gems. So. Well, I, well, I would, I'm going to, because I have a 360 now, and I think I'm just going to move to PC, because well, consoles do have a good thing, because you know how if you buy games for the PC, you don't really, you would know uh, some PCs will run it and some don't. But the thing is, that I like about consoles is that just because it's made for the console, it will run on every other, of the, it will run on every of the same console. Like you know, you'll be able to run it because you have the console, you have the hardware there, you have like the requirement hardware. But on PC, it's kind of like it's that iffy thing. Where, but you would know. Yeah, that's the so one thing I don't have like about iffy PC. computer, dude. I'm sorry to break it to you, but if you have a good computer, you can run anything. No, oh, uh, I, I totally, I totally get what you mean. I'm just saying, like. Uh, you can't like not yeah, everybody has that. But it's just it's just the kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah, it's the thing is it's not it's not a hundred percent like you always have to check and it's just it's just that little thing where you don't have to check and see if it can run. You know, you don't have to check the system requirements, but I don't know why what... like PC gaming has been getting so big and over the years, like I'm go for sure next gen I'm staying console. Like I already have a I already have a uh, laptop like in PC game, I already have a desktop like in PC game. But I don't like PC gaming. It, it just feels so antisocial and dead to me. Like everything, I like how the Xbox feels. Everything about it, it's like social and perfect. Yeah. You know, I, I I definitely like see where you're coming from with that because I think some people like I really like PC and I've experienced it before, but it's a completely different experience from consoles. You know, you've got a point there, and I think some people before they like transfer to PC, they're just like. Oh, 
it's fucking console shit, except it has prettier games. Wee. But, I mean, like, like I said, it's a completely different experience. And honestly, you know, sometimes you'll find a lot of people, a lot more people just have, you know, an Xbox or fucking PlayStation or whatever. Like, if you, if you just go to your school, like, you can ask, a, I don't know, a fairly significant amount of people in your class... And I think more people will say that, you know, oh, I just play on Xbox than fucking, yeah. oh, I play on Steam. Add me Bumper. on Steam. Fucking, yeah, what? Uh, you, have to, you have to take into the fact of, of money because buying a high-end PC versus buying a console, you know, the console's way cheaper and it's just, it's easier for the low-budget gamer. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, say- I'm not saying it's better. I'm not saying, like, one is yeah. better. I'm just saying that they operate differently and, you know, Speedy's got a point there. Um, yeah. Or like the social interactions and stuff, like, and plus there are some like console only games. Yeah. Okay. Like. Uh, yeah, but that's getting low at this point. Like, okay. So I will say, um, one of the reasons why <laughs> a Wii U is because of the exclusives, but honestly, there are barely any exclusives on Xbox right now that are worth giving a shit yeah. about. Forza. The only thing, like, I would what, get a, yeah. the new Xbox. What's, why are Forza uh, when you have fucking, I don't know, there's some, like, Club Cars game coming on Wii U, and there's, like, fucking Need for Speed, there's, um... That, this is my dilemma, look, okay? My, I love, yeah. I don't, I don't like racing games, I love racing simulators. Okay. Every other racing simulator I've ever played that's not Forza is just horrible to me. I hate Gran Turismo, I hate Project Cars, I hate cars on PC. I, I don't, I don't, like, I've never played a decent racing game that's not Forza, which is the only reason I'm sticking Xbox well, next gen. Just I love Forza. Need for Speed. Need for Speed's not a racing sim, though. I love Midnight Club, which is Street definitely racing. not... Definitely not a min... Uh, yeah, dude, okay. So, I will say, I kind of... I see where you're coming from. Um, so, preferably, I'm, I just want to kind of stick it out with Wii U and PC next gen, but I honestly don't know, because I've never gone a generation without owning every single console. Ever. So I've always been able to pick, like, whatever games I want. And, you know, it's been different because obviously my parents have been buying this shit for me. Whereas now, that's not the case. Um, that and uh, on Xbox, you know, obviously there aren't too many exclusives. But as the two out of three of you know, I fucking love Halo. And I literally, like, even now, there's no other game that I, like, have a passion for other than fucking Halo. And it's like, honestly, I'm kind of placing my bets that Counter-Strike will replace that, but I'm not, like, sure. Like, I don't know. Then... Um, Halo... Halo's not enough for me to... Like, Halo was... Before, like, Halo 4 came out, I would always say, like, I'm buying an X- Xbox for sure just for Halo and Forza. Now it's to the point where... I hear the menu music of Halo 4 in your background, by the way. Fucking... Oh, God. Now, I'm checking my friends list because I wanted to say something. If I looked at my Xbox friends list... Because you're saying that not a lot of people have, uh, have like, PC gaming. If I look on my Xbox friends list right now, at least 30 of them are people I know from, like, real life and people I know at school. Yeah. If I if I look at my Steam friends list, it's only one guy. And, he's, and I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate him. <laughs> Dude, like, that's how it is for me. Like, on, I only have one person I know in real life that's on Steam. But every time I get on Team Fortress 2, it's so quiet, and no one's talking, and it's just like horrible. I always had a horrible experience PC. Well, you have to, you have to get friends that do play it, like re- real life friends, or you can like go on like a forum, like if you go on Neogaf or Reddit or whatever, and say, "Hey, I'm looking for some guys to hang out and play TF2 with," and that's one way to do it. Fuck NeoGaf. NeoGaf is NeoGaf is a bunch of assholes. Just joking. Who just said that? You get the fuck out. Halo Gaff, I love you. Everyone else, go fuck me. And Russell Gaff, I love you too, Russell Gaff. Dude, wait. Sorry. I, if, if, I love NeoGaf. There's some Michael kid. Sorry. I, I I don't. You don't need to get the fuck out. But I mean, I don't know. I really like NeoGaf. Dude, I, it was me that what? said that, by the way. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> I like the NeoGaf. Oh, guy. wait. Who said that? Dick? It was me. Oh, uh, Speedy. Yeah. Dude, Shit, like, dude, I thought I you loved Neo Gaff. Gaff. That's why I like didn't call it my bad. My bad, Michael. My bad. I love Neo Gaff. Neo Gaff's the best side I've ever been to in this. Okay, hold on. Does does uh does this does this kid have like an online pseudonym or whatever that he should be called by? Uh he goes he goes oh, no. by like something cousin, I don't know. 
cousin. I mean, I mean, like oh, something God's cousin. called by, like. Yeah, it goes by God's other cousin. God's other cousin. Just what? Like, dude, do you have like an online pseudonym, like another, like a name that you're called by? Just, just, just call me Michael, until Michael. I find some, until I uh, think of something cool. That's good, dude. <clears throat> so, do you fresh month for you, out to the cousin, Speedy Blue, dude? If I were you, I would just do something in real life, cause I used to have like a a, a fake online pseudonym, and I didn't really like it. And then Mumford, it's like it's just my last name, and I fucking like it. So, whatever. It's easy to it's easier to deal with because I don't know. I just I just like it. I can be really, uh, I can be real with people. And that thing. Dude, I don't. I still use an online pseudonym. I still got Speedy Blue, dude. But it's kind of like merged into my real life because if pretty much like even my parents know that that's my like online name. That's what my sisters know. Jesus. Pretty much anyone at school knows it's like my online name. Yeah, but whenever me and you play a game, whenever me and you play a game, on like ninety percent of the time, I call you Luis. Yeah, like, and I don't care because it's like, it's just, I, it's just the fact that I've already had this name for like ten years. No, like, Wait, that was his name is obviously Dennis. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Garner, I showed you that picture, dude. I'm pretty what sure. What picture? The the Call of Duty one. No, <laughs> no, like, you did not. Stuff. Oh, well, I've seen it before. I died. I died when I saw it the first time. <laughs> You're facing the wrong way, Dick. How do I quick scope? Dude, oh my god. Some fucking five-year-old kid, like, fucking followed me on Twitter tonight, and I don't even know. Did you I'm see done. all the pictures I sent you guys? Yeah, man. I saw, like, four of them. I, lost, dude, I lost, like, three followers. I'd be... I, 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 well, at least I broke 100. I don't care. I'm happy. Dude, I gain and lose followers all the time. It's kind of insane. I gained, like, 20 followers because Xbox retweeted one of my tweets, but... Luis, <laughs> guess what happened? Huh. I got I got into the double digits. <laughs> Booyah! Everyone go follow me. <laughs> double digits? What? What's your What's your Twitter? I'll oh, follow him. He's a bitch. All he ever does is tweet about inappropriate stuff. No, wait, wait, what? Ali, what's his Ali Twitter? Ali did during 420 is like he tweeted like exactly nah, 420. I didn't even 420 say anything about how he's enjoyed 420. That's all you did, Michael. 420, blaze it, faggot. That's no. basically what he did. He basically did that. That's not what I did. Oh, I didn't so even. Good. I didn't even do anything that day. 420, blaze it, faggot. Lol. That's that's exactly Lol. what he did. I'm not even joking. Uh, if you guys want his Twitter, I'll link it in Skype chat if you want to follow him, Mumford. He doesn't follow back though. Their cousin. I'll follow back. I will. Follow like back. later. No, I'm, I, I, I will honestly don't follow you because I don't fucking know you. So, whatever. Even though I'm kind of a follow slut. Sorry. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hit, oh, dude, I hit 2K followers. I mean, not 2K. I, 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 yeah, I hit 2K following. I'm... How do you follow that many people, dude? Dude, I just, I've had Twitter for a long time. I don't know. Dude, I, no, you have followers. I had Twitter for like two years longer. Yeah, than we you had have. it. We both had it for two years longer than you. We got our Twitter within like a week of each other. Yeah, you want? Uh, should I go and look up the actual stats? Dude, I think okay. I got mine in like 2011. All right. Okay. Yeah, what? These are these are not um, Twitter stats. People at this time learn more here. These are our Twitter oh. stats, right? I I joined Twitter on November 18, 2009. Oh, the first person oh, I followed was Benji. Are you? Fucking what? Every account can follow two thousand users total. What? There are limits to the number of additional users you can follow. Mumford. Numbers. Wait, wait, Mumford. What? You joined Twitter on April nineteenth, two thousand eleven. The first person you followed was Wiz Kafil Kil uh, Kalafi. Kalafi. <laughs> Wiz Al Kadafi. <laughs> dude, I used to like Wiz Khalifa, dude. I mean, he had like back in the day before he blew up. He had decent music. I don't know. Right. Oh, okay. it's right. I put all my sugar glasses before G everyone was so good, dude. Uh. G Fresh, you joined Twitter on November 29, 2009. Your, your first person you followed was Olin Rogers. I don't know who the freak that guy is. Oh, no, I think what? That's... Yeah. Olin Rogers is like the funniest guy on YouTube, I swear. And then, look at him. Um, he does The Last Scene and he does like Pop Rocket. And he used to do Balloon Shop. Good stuff. Okay, and then God's older cousin, Michael. You joined Twitter on July 26, 2012. The first person you followed was me. Yes. <laughs> it was me. It was Beady Blue, dude. Yeah. It was. Okay, I follow you now because I unfollowed someone, so. 
I'm gonna get the little notification on my phone. It might. I, be I thought sound. I know that Defresh is DMing me. <laughs> I keep. That's the only reason I know Defresh DMs me during this whole thing. Like eight times. Yeah. Dude, you can just tweet us. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, you got a good point. You'll blow up your shit. Alright. You have eleven followers. Yeah, I was like, looking at your Twitter today. Anyways, after like you tweeted me and like your whole. Like, last couple pages are, like, tweets to me. Like, I'm, like just from, like, conversations. I don't know. I yeah. felt bad. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. If... Like, um, I like how I'm the only one here who doesn't have... Who doesn't basically <laughs> follow everyone back. Let's see. Uh, Dude, I don't follow everyone back. Are you serious? I, I have follow someone following me that I'm not... You fo- You have twelve followers. Oh, you have- what one person? You have twelve followers, Michael. And you have eighteen. You're following eighteen people. One in the chamber. Monsters? But I'm following. But I'm not. No, no. I'm following people that aren't following me. Do you, but do you fresh- there's someone that's there's someone that's following me that I'm not following them back. So that counts, right? I guess. Do you fresh? You have sixty nine following, and you have uh, seventy one. You, you have seventy one followers. <laughs> you follow sixty nine people. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> You have twenty hundred. You have two hundred and twenty-five followers, and you have two thousand and one to follow. Uh, you're following two thousand one. Yeah, but dude, I don't oh follow. Oh my gosh! I have a hundred and five followers, and I'm following like forty-seven people. Do what? I don't know. Like, I like. Oh, right, Jeffers, do you agree with me that he's following way too many people? Yeah, I think he follows so many more people than he needs to. I don't well, yeah, deal with that. Uh, dude, dude, what's different. even worse is I don't know how you unfollow those. You have to like, be, you have to like dedicate a whole day of your life unfollowing people to get back down to zero. <laughs> no, dude, that's Just the thing though. Like, it. hold on. I will say, like, the thing is about following this many people is that a you don't keep up with it, and b you just like. I I have a variation of like things that I like, and usually when like big news things blow up, it usually blow up in my time. Like, the, it blows up in my timeline. And it's not just, like, fucking people's personal shit that I don't give a fuck about. It's, like, actual shit. I don't know. It's... I don't know. I, I, just, I like the fact that I follow this many people. You know? I don't know. And it's, and it's variety. I don't know. I don't even have 20... I'm not even following 20, and I think that it's a lot. Well... It's not, that, it's not, like, personal stuff, because, like, I don't really like hearing about someone's dog. Dude, the fake Michael Jordan Twitter account is. I was gonna tell you, dude, why do you keep me tweeting him? Jesus. Dude, people. He's on my tab like twenty four. No, he's not. He's on my tab. No, no, people, um, like people's fake, fake Twitter accounts are fucking brilliant, dude. Like, uh, I'm gonna make a fake Twitter account for Mumford. I'm just keep. Oh my god. Everyone, go change your Twitter username to another person's. Like, I just. I got no, kids on Mumford. Dude, it I doesn't just work. Retweeted like... four. From Michael Jordan, uh, apparently, dude, apparently it doesn't count unless it's like its own account. You can't just change your name. I don't know. I'm just saying. Do 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 Sometimes I get turtles and snakes mixed up. Which of them is the one that eats pizza? <laughs> Cantaloupe, <laughs> antelope. One is a fruit and the other has horns. This makes you think right there. <laughs> it, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. This, this is really, okay. Kids at the mall said I looked like a giant cinnamon stick. I chased them but fell into the penny fountain. So much for my wishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, this one's good. I dribble a basketball when I'm out and about running errands. It's the baller lifestyle. <laughs> oh my god. That's awful. What the hell? Oh man. I had to step away from the mic for a minute. I was laughing so hard. What mic are you using? Are you using your blue yeti yet? No, I'm, using, I'm still on my phone. Darn it. Can you connect your Blue Yeti to your phone? <laughs> you probably... Apple would never allow it. Dude, your Blue Yeti would probably be bigger than your freaking iPhone. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. For sure. The big silver one? Yes, he has the same mic as I do. Or mic. 
<clears throat> he, um, stole my swag. Wait, what'd you say? How much did you stole my swag? Uh, uh, Gfresh, how much you buy for? How much did you buy for? I got it for Christmas. How much? I wouldn't I mean, know. I got, got it for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I know, but come on. Okay. Yeah, they don't want something. Right, I'll to... look it up on eBay. I'll look it up on Amazon right now how much they are. $98. No, oh, that's not too bad. It's 149 sure. normally. It's right now it's on sale for like 98. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's. Oh, even at 150, I thought it was like two, three hundred. Okay, it's not too bad. Because if I want to start YouTube again or like streaming or something, like I need a mic because you guys can hear me right now. I fucking hate my voice over this. Like, I I just use the standard MacBook, like you know, mic or whatever. Wait, wait, you wait. Do you have? A, did you ever start YouTube? Me? What's yeah, you, yeah. You know? He did a com. I he did a couple commentaries. Like I don't know the the. The thing is, is that life got in the way, and it still kind of is in the way. Like, the only reason I can talk now is because, like, the people I'm living with are out, and I wanted to stay home. So... What's your, what's your YouTube account, if you don't mind me asking? Mine? Yeah. Um, it's... I don't... Like, I deleted all my videos, or I didn't delete them. Like, I put them on private, and it's basically my real-life account now. So, if I start a YouTube... It's Live gonna one. be a different username, so or a different account. So uh, yeah. You want to be on our channel, in our group channel? Something Ooh. of something. I don't forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was like Game Wits Star or whatever. Yeah. Channel. Yeah, I mean, witty I gaming. Wanna... <laughs> when when the I you know I people yeah, channel. Bring that up again when you guys uh when I get a uh what do you call it when when I when I start back up again. No, it's just now or never. Ever I get a computer, which could be like any, it's any I don't know. It's now or never, G Fresh. Now or never, right? Yeah, it's now or never. <laughs> That's We're like on the edge. Pause. <laughs> okay. I was I, I was not paying attention to the <laughs> Skype call at all right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, Wait, it's Luis, actually, um... So you're using your, so you're using that big mic. Yeah, it's like. A few feet away from me, though. I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly. Am I coming? Am I, am I coming in clearly too? Not really. No, I can barely hear. You've been staticking the whole time. You liar. Well, but most for it, seriously, if you want to make that liar, whenever you start up YouTube again, feel free, dude. Yeah. Okay. Could you repeat that again? Uh, I'm sorry. A certain somebody couldn't shut their goddamn mouth. No, I'm sorry, bud. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyways, what are you saying? Uh, if, you, if you want to join our channel whenever, like, if you want to join, like, our group channel whenever you start... Yeah, sure, beginning. hey, um, link it to me and I'll subscribe. Guys, if I do that, I'm, like, advertising, and then everyone, since we're going to upload this, everyone's going to know, like, we're advertising, like, badly. I don't want to do that. Someone else do it. Okay, well, fuck it. Advertising? <laughs> Who gives a fuck, dude? Guys, yeah, subscribe for, uh, I was about to say 420, I don't know why. Guys, subscribe, <laughs> YOLO, swag, swag, freaking awesome, hashtag... I'm just gonna Follow start tagging like so. everything. I'm gonna start tagging Nigel Steen, White Boy Seven Street, White Boy Seven Street just Seven Street. Tag. Yeah, Luis, Age Three. <laughs> White Boy just, keep, just keep saying random stuff so you can put random tags in the video. Yes, everyone, go. Uh, current events. Uh, um, Woody's uh, gamer tag. Woody's, Woody's gamer, gamer swag. Tag. Woody's gamer swag. Uh, new oh. TDM Modern Warfare. Girl gone gamer. Rooster Look teeth. Boots. Rooster teeth. Rooster tooth. Like... <laughs> Toby Hot Games highlights. Fudge Sunday. McDonald's. Subscribe. Dude, I can't believe I just said that. I think I might have to leave the call now. I, yeah, I think I think at this point. I, I think you might have to kill yourself, bro. I think we want shame. Okay. Too much All right, bye guys. I'm just gonna go kill myself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, bye guys. We're we're shames. Rest in peace and go Thanks in there. Tune in. We'll be back next Keep week. Back. Push to embarrass ourselves again. <laughs> Hashtag. Rest Hashtag in Yolo.